Uh, thank you, Lord Mayor. Uh, in January, this Council unanimously agreed to the motion making HIV history, arguing for the full national rollout of PrEP on the NHS and calling on the government to reverse the brutal cuts to public health funding that have taken place since the Tory Lib Dem coalition government. What progress has been made since? Thank you, Lord Mayor. Well, I wish I could report that since the motion in January, austerity had ended. Uh, I wish I could report that public health budgets had been restored and the £3.2 billion that they need per year to take them back to 2010 levels had been reinstated, or that I could confirm that we in Manchester have had our budgets increased not just to pre-2010 levels, but also to reflect our population growth and inflation. Uh, but sadly, until we get a Labour government, this remains pretty much wishful thinking. But we do in Manchester continue to try and mitigate the consequences of austerity in our communities. In terms of what's happened since January, in reality, despite the lobbying of councils and charities, there remains a growing black hole in our public health budgets. Indeed, even the election bribes coming out from across the road fail to address this and we've had to deal with the £6.7 million real-term cut in public health budgets since 2017-18. I would like to reassure you that we have been absorbing these cuts in Manchester. We've been paying ourselves for the increases that are needed in our public health budget, which leads me to the second point around PrEP. And actually, the progress that I can report on that is similarly disheartening. After the motion, I wrote to NHS England and the Secretary of State calling for the fully funded rollout of PrEP, something else that was met with inaction. Since our motion in January, Mar in March, NHS England expanded the trial, meaning that an additional 400 places. Now we have still over 1,200 people eligible for the trial on the waiting list, still waiting, but they rolled out their expanded trial flawed indeed in how it admits people and as a reminder they still only pay for the drug costs so those 400 places equate to approximately 1,500 appointments per year for people to actually see people in our sexual health services. With over 1,200 people remaining on the waiting list I can sadly report that there have been 12 new cases of HIV of gay and bisexual men eligible to receive PrEP that if the government had announced a fully funded rollout of PrEP on the NHS, like in Scotland, those men would be unlikely to have contracted the virus. So we'll continue to call for a fully funded rollout of PrEP on the NHS with all costs met, like in Scotland, and these calls will intens intensify as NHS England seek to end the trial in December 2020 with no further information as to what will happen afterwards. Councillor Jones, do you have a supplementary question? Uh, I do, thanks, Lord Mayor. Um, in response to the uh, government failure on sexual health um, that Councillor Craig mentioned, um, which, and which members of the LGBT plus community in Manchester City Centre have told me frustrates them, um, what specific actions um, is Manchester City Council taking to, to advance the motion um, and its intent? Okay, so as, as we said in response to the motion, um, we've since taken a report to Health Scrutiny Committee outlining our position. In Manchester, like in the rest of Greater Manchester, we're committed to the ambition of making HIV history in terms of ending new contractions of the virus within a generation. We've signed up to the UN aid targets of 1990, uh, the first being that 90% of HIV positive people will know their status. We estimate this to be about 91% in Manchester. The second point is that 90% who are diagnosed have sustained therapy. In Manchester, this is currently 97.3%. And the third aim of the UNAIDS target is that 90% of people receiving viral therapy have viral suppression. Um, in Manchester, that is 94%. What that means is that people who have suppressed the viral load, they cannot pass on the virus, and this should continue to be an aim. And I want to thank um, many of the organisations, including our voluntary and community sector as part of PASH, that have helped us deliver this. Our aims for the coming year in working through Greater Manchester and the additional £1.3 million that they've set aside is to scale up our plans for HIV testing, to continue to campaign to encourage more testing and to campaign to reduce the stigma, something I think shown by um, events of the recent weeks with the rugby player Gareth Thomas and the absolutely disgusting way that the media 
has treated him in inviting him and his status to his family. We still have a long way to go in tackling stigma around HIV and that is something to be committed to. Um, and obviously, Marcus, you've raised this with us a number of times um, and I would be keen to work with you and any ideas you have coming from your residents in terms of how we can continue to lead on this issue in Manchester.